Good evening. It's the um, evening of August 8th, 2022. I'm uh, doing an updated uh, presentation for the Livewire spec. Uh, things have uh, completely changed. Uh, completely changed. Uh, what happened is I did a video that I published uh, a little over two and a half weeks ago, July 22nd, and I called for Livewire to uh, pause their spec. And I did it because the market was down, the uh, SPACs were down, greatly down. You can go see the video, but SPACs were crashing and being very unsuccessful. Uh, I was complaining that there was no DC fast charging on Del Mar and uh, money sales and marketing for the Livewire One. So I basically at that point said, let's wait for better marketing uh, conditions, let's fix the Del Mar, and let's you know, clean up the uh, sales and marketing for Livewire. That was the uh, that was the gist of it. So, um, at that time, with the information that was there, I thought that's what made sense after reviewing the spec. However, um, yesterday, everything completely changed uh, because the Senate in, in the United States uh, passed a bill called uh, the Inflation Reduction Act, and it changes everything for Livewire. Uh, it's a, a huge bill, <clears throat> hundreds of billions of dollars. It's designed, among other things, uh, to reduce global warming, which is, you know, something that I thought would never get funded. The uh, Biden uh, Build Back Better uh, went down in flames after many months of negotiation. So um, when I did the last video, there was no hope for it. Um, what happened is a week and a half ago, uh, Joe Manchin, um, announced that there had been a, a secret uh, negotiation uh, with uh, Chuck Schumer and that they had come to an agreement. Uh, last Friday, uh, Christ, or Kirsten uh, Cinema got on board with it. Uh, they had the debate over the weekend and last night uh, they passed it through the Senate. It'll uh, obviously go through the House quickly on Friday and the uh, President is due to sign it next Saturday. So uh, do not uh, by a live wire between now and Saturday uh, because the live wire won, there's going to be a $7,500 point of sale tax credit. So that means it comes right off uh, the invoice. Uh, it can be used for a down payment, uh, but it brings the live wire cash price, live wire one cash price to $15,299. Now you still have to put tax and delivery and everything on it, but. Um, it's basically half the price uh, that it was when it was introduced in 2019. And it's a phenomenal bike. Um, that's an incredible price. Uh, I think, I don't know, I think it's probably under $300 a month over, uh, over four years. I mean, you have to do the calculation with your interest rate you can qualify for, but Harley has excellent, or Livewire has excellent financing through Harley-Davidson Credit. And they also have a cash forward, which is, uh, I think they call it ride forward or cash forward. It's uh, kind of like a lease type deal, but uh, that is a steal for that bike to be in the $15,000 $15, range. Uh, they won't last. So uh, get on the website and get yours reserved right now. Uh, secondly, the uh, Livewire Del Mar, it's uh, gonna have a $15,000 targeted price point at this time. So with a $7,500 tax credit, that's a $7,500 cash price for Del Mar. Now at a time where electric bicycles are five grand, uh, I can't imagine that uh, Livewire will be able to build the Del Mar fast enough. It's, uh, it, it's gonna be uh, Katie bar the doors. It, I, it's, these prices are so low, especially when you look into the savings and the gasoline and you know, commuting over a car. I mean, it's just, everybody's gonna have to have one. It, it changes everything. And uh, the Inflation Reduction Act is the reason that I'm changing my stance from pause to a uh, game on, let's go. Uh, this is an incredible uh, opportunity that has dropped on live wire. It's, uh, it's a once in a million thing that something like this would even happen, uh, especially so unexpectedly. Now, uh, to qualify for the tax credit, I've read through the bill, they uh, published it uh, this morning with the changes, but uh, basically from a buyer standpoint, uh, that's a single uh, tax filer, like filing as, as an individual, you have to make less than 150000 a year. 
uh, head of household is 225,000, forgot to put the K there, and then um, 300,000 for, uh, uh, for a joint filing. So uh, you're allowed one uh, tax credit per year for each of these entities for the uh, EV tax credit. Now for the motorcycles, there's uh, three main things they have to have right now. Uh, one is has to be made in USA, so that knocks out Energica. Basically, the only made in USA motorcycles that I know that can qualify for this are Livewire and Zero. But uh, it must have a VIN number, be street legal, and it must have a minimum seven kilowatt hour battery. Now, I don't know what the uh, kilowatts are in the uh, Del Mar, they're not saying, but in the uh, Zero, uh, the entry level bike they have, it's 7.2 kilowatts. So uh, they're just uh, squeaking a little bit over the line there, but that, you know, the, the zeros are gonna qualify for this tax credit also. Uh, now, I have a list here of the bikes that qualify. Uh, Livewire 1, which uh, currently they're uh, selling, or their forecast this year is for 950 bikes. They're obviously gonna sell every bike they can make this year, but their forecast up until now was 950 bikes for the year. Uh, Del Mar, uh, they forecasted on the first uh, SPAC presentation, uh, 7,000 bikes in 2023 and 14,000 in 2024. Uh, that was a, a worldwide number. Uh, that number and all the market research that went along with it and everything we ever knew about psychoelectric motorcycles has been thrown out the window because this is, in the case of the Del Mar, a 50% price cut. So uh, this is an incredible opportunity for Livewire. Uh, Zero currently produces uh, 3,000 electric motorcycles per year. I think that last, I say per year, I think that was their 2020 data, which was the last I was able to get on the internet. They have four bikes to qualify, the FXE, the SR, SRF, and SRS. The FXE is the one that's um, 7.2 kilowatt. I think it's uh, $12,500, that bike's, uh, you know, it's gonna be five grand, but the, the problem is, is that, um, you know, with Livewire and Zero being the only bikes in the game, <clears throat> it's going to come down to a giant opportunity for Livewire uh, because Zero does not have the manufacturing uh, scale. They're in, um, I think it's uh, Scotts Valley, California. Uh, they're building 3,000 bikes a year. Um, I don't see any way that they can scale to meet the kind of demand that a uh, uh, in the case of the, uh, uh, what's it called, the FX, or FXE, I mean, that thing is going to be under $5,000. So, I mean, they won't be able to build them fast enough. Uh, the other thing is that Zero uh, does not sell direct. So, what's going to happen? They're going to ship it to the dealers. The bike's going to be short. The dealers are going to sell them for as much as they can get for them. So, the, the end user is not going to uh, benefit uh, from the price as much. And... Um, um, you know, when the zeros are short, they're just going to be more money. Uh, now, zero might try and solve the problem by leveraging the Polaris Indian relationship to build more bikes in the USA. Now, zero has a joint venture with Polaris to provide electric drivetrain for the uh, Polaris vehicles, like their uh, side by sides and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Polaris owns Indian motorcycle. Um, they they. Indian motorcycles, the ones for the United States are made in Iowa. I think uh, the foreign market ones are made in uh, Poland, I think. But anyway, uh, Polaris is a very large company. They might invest in manufacturing capability, either Indian or Zero, to ramp up the numbers because uh, you know they're going to be off the chart. But it's a, it's a giant, giant opportunity for Livewire. It's uh, everything just uh, fell into place. It's just uh, incredible. Uh, the live work people are just going to be uh, like going out of their minds trying to get bikes out fast enough. Now, um, <clears throat> I want to give Livewire some advice, get a little bit preachy. Um, they need to right now rapidly ramp production for Livewire 1 in Del Mar. I know the, uh, the Livewire 1 isn't a motorcycle they were expecting to scale, but uh, they need to scale it and they need to start building a lot more, maybe give it a refresh. Now the Livewire 1 is gonna have a little bit of a problem because in future years, I think starting after 2023, there is a specification for the um, motorcycles to have a certain amount of US content in their battery packs. Now uh, the Livewire 1 
is using a prismatic battery from uh, a Samsung SDI, which it's basically the battery, <clears throat> the flat battery that comes in cell phones. That's what the Livewire 1 is using. The Del Mar is using the, um, the same batteries as the Tesla, the, I think, 7180s, whatever they call them. So one of the things they point out in their SPAC document is that the batteries in the Del Mar, because there's more standard form factor, they can get them anywhere. So I think in the Del Mar, it'll be a lot easier for Livewire to make the battery contest specifications as they get tougher between uh, 2023 and 2032, I think is when it ends. But anyway, they, they need to ramp it up. Uh, they need to put DC fast charging on the Del Mar. You know, obviously the problem has been one of, you know, doing it for the price, but when the bike is now $7,500, I think you can afford a few thousand dollars and put a DC fast charger on and a battery pack that can handle it. Uh, the other thing is in the, uh, the uh, Livewire presentation for investors on the SPAC, the first one, they talked about the S4. Now the S4 is a uh, larger motorcycle, it's a larger electric motorcycle, probably to replace or even be bigger than the Livewire 1. Um, you need to bring that up sooner. You need to accelerate the timetable for that because I'm sure the reason you're not selling it now is because it's too expensive to produce a larger battery pack. But uh, $7,500 off, I mean, come on, man, let's uh, move that thing up and whatever it is, let's get it out sooner. I also would encourage Livewire to resist the temptation to raise price due to high demand. Now, they're going to be able to keep the price pretty stable because they sell direct. So the dealers are selling through are not really going to be able to sell for much more money than what Livewire is selling direct for at full retail. So I imagine the bikes are all going to go out at full retail. But um, I think they should resist the temptation to raise the price. Let's keep the demand high, the supply short, and uh, more Livewire swag. So uh, I noticed on the website last week, uh, Livewire added some Livewire swag, which is fantastic. Uh, it really looks like good stuff. I'm going to uh, check it out and order some. But obviously, uh, they're moving the marketing and the sales in the right direction. They're getting some of this stuff done. And uh, this is a business opportunity that I've never seen before in history. We're talking about billions of dollars being dropped into EV incentives and Livewire sitting there with the only competition being zero. I mean, this is, uh, this is really something, a really great opportunity. And I, I think leads to a very bright future for Livewire and uh, being at the right time, at the right place at the right time with the right product uh, my hat's off to uh, Mr. Zeitz for uh, pushing this product or pushing Livewire as an electric brand in uh, 2010. And everybody that took it forward, the whole management engineering team, I mean, wow, here you are. Uh, the thing is getting ready to explode and uh, you were there with the right product at the right time. So uh, let's go. And my advice is uh, full speed ahead on the uh, Livewire spec. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.